Well, <clears throat> here I am in Inner Mongolia. Yep, my travels have uh, taken me to a city called, uh, well, it's spelled O R D O S, but the Chinese is Urdos, uh, so I'm not sure how you actually pronounce it uh, in its native language. Um, one thing you'll notice is with the signs, Next to the normal Chinese characters, okay, you can't really see it, I'll find an example. They've got some other kind of language, which I'm guessing is a native Mongolian, written next to it. It's quite interesting. It's not uh, what I'd call a very vibey place, though. Cross over the road. Where are you going, boy? I'm just getting myself run over here. It's green, it says it's green, but I'd rather... Yeah. Just don't trust the road signs. Okay, now, now that it's red, how can I go? No, no, I can't, but I'm going anyway. <coughs> it's China for you. Okay, so anyway, um, this is a very uh, up-and-coming city. You can see there's construction everywhere. It looks like the government has injected a lot of money and uh, time into developing this place. So I think potentially it's going to be a very interesting and exciting place to be. Right now, though, there's very little here. It's got a few little developed areas and, uh, around, but uh, for instance, we drove for about an hour from the airport and there was nothing in between here and the airport, just open sort of green grassland type things. Okay, I want to try and give you an idea of the signs I'm talking about. Let me find a lit up sign over here. Oh, camera's not picking it up very nicely. But any, okay, there you can see it above the Chinese. It's like a strange, sort of a downwards written script. Almost looks like um, Arabic or Sanskrit or something. I'm more like Arabic, but from top to bottom or something instead of from right to left. Okay, well, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. If I spot anything interesting, I'll check in with you. Well, <clears throat> I think I'll quickly comment on the motorbike situation here since, you know, if you're watching my channel, probably noticed it's mainly about motorbikes and that kind of thing it's my interest my hobby um, well this not being a developed city I would have expected there to be a lot of motorbikes and a lot of scooters around but actually no there are a lot of electric bikes and electric scooters you know similar to the one I have and uh, in fact there are a lot of uh, Chinese companies what they've done is they've taken the the actual scooter chassis, you know, um, of the old petrol powered scooters and they've just adapted them and basically they sell them as electric models. So I'm, well, I can see a bunch of them in the distance, I'm going to walk past and let you see what I'm talking about and there seem to be a lot of these around. I've only spotted a, one or two actual motorbikes so they're obviously illegal here as well. Let's take a look. I don't know how clearly you can see that. But that is an electric scooter. Those are also electric bikes. Here's another electric scooter. Same chassis, same everything. They just adapted slightly. Oh, this is interesting. Here we have a big police station. Well, here we have some kind of a park. Right in front of the big police station. That is a police station over there seems to be the biggest most important building in the area wonder why anyway 
Um, so far this is a very, very, uh, how could I put it, not populated place. <laughs> okay, maybe quiet's a better word. It's a very quiet, uh, relaxed, sort of simple place. Um, however, I think if you look hard enough you'll still find some interesting things to do here. Although I'm not quite sure what. I, um, I had some steamed lamb earlier which was really good. So the food's a plus around here. Ah, let's see, we have a road sign. This could be good for future reference, see exactly where I was. You'll be able to see on the road sign as well, they've got that strange Mongolian um, writing um, above the, the Hunza. And I did a little bit of research on, online before I came here and it looks like about 80, 70 to 80 percent of the population here is Han Chinese, the usual Chinese. So there isn't a lot of the minority here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, police station. And around us we have some more. Let's see, what do we have? In Chinese that says something or other, Jiolo. So it means alcohol building, which actually means hotel. Over there we have Jiu Dian, which means hotel. So there's another hotel. Um, there we have something that's not a hotel. <laughs> and up ahead looks very much like a spa of some kind. You'll see. See when I get there. <laughs> 